New tonight, a man continues to adjust to life after losing an arm to an alligator attack. I have PTSD. I have dreams of me being near that water about two, three times a night. Thank you for watching the night beat. I'm Taylor Wirtz and I'm Russ McCaskey. Wink News first brought you this story from Port Charlotte in 2023. 24 year old Jordan Rivera fell into a pond behind Benito's uh, Bandito's bar while trying to relieve himself. Moments later, a 10 foot alligator tore his arm off. A group of Good Samaritans managed to pull Jordan out of the water, and tonight he is sharing his story of survival with Wink News. The Night Beats Maddie Heron joins us live from Bandidos. Maddie, did Jordan think he would make it out alive? Jordan Rivera told me he had no memories of that alligator attack here outside of Bandito's May of 2023. With his right arm now gone forever, it's safe to say he'll never quite be the same, but he told me that doesn't stop him from pushing forward. I was able to sit down with Rivera at his home where he showed me some of the ways he's adjusting about a year and a half later. He's screaming. He is conscious. He's screaming right now and we cannot see where the gator's at. A glimpse into the panic as bystanders reported the attack that changed Jordan Rivera's life forever. Rivera said all he remembers is using the bathroom near this pond just outside of Port Charlotte Bar back in May 2023. It was just like a flash and then I was in the hospital. Waking up in the hospital, Rivera didn't realize this 10 foot alligator, later caught by FWC, had attacked him, let alone what the massive reptile took with it. For me to wake up and for them to tell me I have no arm and that this and that an alligator had gotten me, I was like, alligator, the last thing I would have thought in the world. His injury turns one simple task into daily struggles, but for Rivera, losing his arm does not mean losing his motivation. I do. Pretty much most things most people do, but maybe a different type of way. Rivera showed us some of the adjustments he has made. To name a few, he uses a special grip steering wheel to drive his car. And when it comes to putting on a belt, what first took him half an hour now takes less than a minute. A sign of growth as he continues to navigate his new reality. I realize that I have one arm, but that doesn't let me down. I don't let anything hold me back. I wake up and it's a new step for me. Rivera said a big part of making those next steps and all that progress is the support system of his friends and family. He also told me a future roadblock that he sees coming up is finding a disability insurance that can help him with the next steps. Live on the Night Beat, Maddie Heron, Wink News.